Hey everybody, Mr. Barry here. Uh, we're in the second unit on quadratics. Uh, we're doing, going through in this unit uh, the different types of forms and different types of appearances of quadratic functions, uh, seeing what information we can get from them when they're in certain specific um, types of forms. Uh, so we start off by doing intercept form. We got a lot of information from that, x-intercepts, um, definitely the focus on that one. And here now we're going to be talking about vertex form. And again, um, as it kind of mentions already up in the actual vocabulary, uh, this one in particular is going to be great for us to get a lot of information about the vertex right up front. So uh, we'll take a look at vertex form right here. We have y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And this is vertex form, so there's a lot of information there about the vertex. So let's go ahead right away and again point out to you that h and k up there should look familiar, um, especially compared to what we did back with absolute value functions. The h and the k are going to be what makes, makes up our vertex for this problem. So we will be able to hopefully um, right away understand that h comma k would be our vertex. Now we do have to understand that our eyes have to be kind of careful here, right? Because the h is behind the minus sign in the in the uh, formula up there, up in the function for vertex form, um, that it's not what we see, but it's actually the opposite of what we see. All right. So if there was uh, x minus five up there, um, the h value would be positive five. If it was x plus three up there. Uh, the h value would be negative 3. So whatever value for x, we would be able to plug into there uh, and get the number 0 back out. That is what will give us uh, our h value for this problem. So we know h comma k here would be the vertex. Uh, much like the absolute value function, our a value here holds a lot of power also. Um, so just to kind of comment on that, that we should know a couple different things. We know that if A is positive, we have our upwards uh, parabola in this case, and if A is negative, we're going to have our downwards pointing parabola. Almost kind of sort of looks like a smiley face there, or a frowny face if it's negative, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so that will definitely help us out. Of course, with that, we should know that since we're dealing with vertex form, what does that tell us about the vertex? Um, here the vertex, here's the vertex if we're positive, uh, and in that location, the vertex would be a minimum. And if the a value is negative, our vertex would be right there, and in that case, our vertex would be a maximum. So really a lot of information there just based upon the vertex. Um, it is a parabola. We're going to be asking you to figure out five different points. Um, so we might have to calculate certain things out besides that. The other thing to point out here, um, just to make sure that we're aware of, um, as always, um, is um, if we want to calculate a y-intercept. So when we did intercept form in the last uh, Nearpod, um, intercept form gave us the x-intercepts, um, but we know it's pretty simple concept-wise to always get a y-intercept. Um, if we had a y-intercept or if we needed to sit, figure out a y-intercept, we know that we can always plug in an x-value equal to zero. We would just have to do the math work um, to that and then figure out what the y value would be. So it is vertex form. A lot of information about the vertex here will help us with maximum and minimums and different things that could appear in questions. 
we can definitely always kind of calculate the y-intercept by just plugging in zero for x and calculating out what would y be uh, from that. Um, unlike intercept form, we don't have information here about the x-intercepts right up front for us, uh, so we'd have to do a little bit of thinking about that if need be. But again, because it's in vertex form, we're going to use this mainly, or this will appear mainly, to uh, really, really put out front for us uh, the importance and what exactly is uh, the vertex in each of these problems.